Meet Shaeta Synthesis 12, more commonly known among the other knights as the infamous Shaeta the Silent. Shaeta is one of the supporting characters of Alicization's second half, the War of Underworld, and the owner of the Black Lily Sword, a divine object capable of cutting through anything. Before becoming an Integrity Knight, Shaeta was a swordswoman who had earned the right to participate in the Four Empire Unification Tournament. She had a strong tendency to visualize the cleanly sliced cross section of anything she had encountered and was unable to stop herself from making this image of hers a reality, regardless of whether her target was an inanimate object or a person. Because of this desire of hers, she had brutally murdered every single one of her opponents during the tournament. Although Shaeta was declared the victor in the tournament and became an Integrity Knight in the aftermath, the records of that year's tournament were completely erased to hide the fact that blood had been shed throughout it. Shaeta's deeply hidden nature was perceived by the Supreme Priest of the Axiom Church, Quinella, who promised to craft her a sword that could cut anything in half if she were to find and bring to the church any being that survived in the battlefield of the Age of Blood and Iron in the Dark Territory, making it engorged with spatial energy. After three days of searching, Shaeta was able to find a single black lily, which Quinella later turned into an extremely thin sword named the Black Lily Sword for her. A year later, Shaeta was put into hibernation at her own request after killing another Integrity Knight in a duel. Shortly after the fall of Administrator and her second-in-command Chudelkin, the grey-haired knight was awoken from her slumber by Commander Berkuli to bolster the Human Empire forces against the upcoming invasion from the Dark Territory. Well, she did not have much to do during the first day of the final load test when the Great Eastern Gate collapsed in a huge light show, she was assigned to the Human Guardian decoy army with Alice, Berkuli, Kirito and others to head south in hopes of diverting the attention of the Dark Territory forces. When the pugilist guild of the Dark Territory army caught up to them, however, Sheta would finally break her silence and take on the task of occupying the attention of Iskan, the 10th champion of the pugilist guild, in a fight of sword and fist. A fight that would give Sheta a whole lot more in her life to look forward to. For more information on Sheta the Silent and Sword Art Online, make sure to visit the Sword Art Online wiki. Check out these other SAO wiki features that we know you'll find useful and don't forget to follow us at SAO underscore wiki on Twitter for the latest news on the series.